Good morning everyone, it's Wednesday morning and we're going to come together as we read from Proverbs chapter uh, 29 this morning. As you can see, different setting, streaming from church this morning, it's a little bit cold in the building, place home. Uh, I just thought it provide a nice backdrop with the stained glass windows behind. So let's read God's word and this is Proverbs chapter 29. Whoever stubbornly refuses to accept criticism will suddenly be beyond recovery. When the godly are in authority, the people rejoice. But the, when the wicked are in power, they groan. The man who loves wisdom brings joy to his father. But if he hangs around with prostitutes, his wealth is wasted. A just king gives stability to the, his nation, but one who demands bribes destroys it. To flatter friends is to lay a trap after, for their feet. Evil people are trapped by sin, but the righteous escape shouting for joy. The godly care about the rights of the poor, the wicked don't care at all. Mockers can get a whole town agitated, but the wise will calm anger. If a wise person takes a fill to court, there will be ranting and ridicule, but not satisfaction. The bloodthirsty hate blameless people, but the upright seek to help them. Fools vent their anger, but the wise quietly hold it back. If a ruler pays attention to liars, all his advisors will be wicked. The poor and the common have the poor and the oppressor have this in common. The Lord gives sight with to both. If a king judges the poor fairly, his throne will last forever. To discipline his children, a child produces wisdom, but a mother is disgraced by an undisciplined child. When the wicked are in authority, sin flourishes but the godly will live to see their downfall. Discipline your children and they will give you peace of mind and will make your heart glad. When people do not accept divine guidance, they run wild, but whoever obeys the law is joyful. Words alone will not discipline a servant. The words will be understood, but they are not heeded. There is more hope for a fool than for someone who speaks without thinking. A serpent pampered from childhood, servant pampered from childhood will become a rebel. An angry person starts fights, a hot tempered person commits all kinds of sins. Pride ends in humiliation, while humility brings honour. If you assist a thief, you will only hurt yourself. You are sworn to tell the truth, but you dare not testify. Fearing people is a dangerous trap, but trusting the Lord means safety. Many seek the ruler's favour, but justice comes from the Lord. The righteous despise the unjust, the wicked despise the godly. Amen. That's the end of Proverbs chapter 29. It's also the end of Solomon's sayings. The last two chapters, which we'll do Thursday and Friday, um, are sayings of two other people. Um, but it's interesting how it sums up how we end up sort of thinking about Solomon. He there's a, a repetition again of some of the things he said before, but there's also some new things. Um, it says in verse two, when the godly are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked are in power, they groan. Thinking about elections and people in power is maybe quite topical tonight. Uh, I think if you've been watching the news and a second impeachment um, of Trump, but even our own government and, and the criticism you know, there, there's a lot of pressure on us to lead correctly. Um, we have a higher standard to lead by if we are in authority and if we are followers of Christ. Um, we, we should be setting that example. We should be the sort of people that it says here, when the godly are in authority, the people rejoice. Sadly, at times, that's not what happens. Sadly, at times, whenever we get into authority, no matter where it is, um, power can go to our heads and people then cringe and we make things very difficult for folks. We have to lead by example. Uh, and that's what a lot of Solomon's teachings are about. Leading by example. Set the example. Set the good example, not the bad example. Show people what things should be like or how things could be. Uh, and then sh and then lead from there. 
It's a big challenge, all this. It's difficult. Whatever eyes are on you for one reason or another, whether it's your workplace, um, whether it's the home, it doesn't matter where it is. When eyes are on you, it's a lot of pressure and it's difficult. But as followers of Christ, we are called to set that good example. So today, as we go out into the day, um, maybe you're already in work, uh, maybe you're at home, homeschooling or working from the, the sitting room, uh, no, no matter what you're doing today, do it knowing that God wants you to set that example. God wants to use you to show others um, what a great God he is and how great it can be to follow him. So as we do that today, may God encourage us, may he strengthen us, may he enable us to do that. And whenever we fail, as inevitably we will, that we can turn to him and that he will pick us up, put his arms around us and encourage us to keep going. So let's pray together this morning. Father, thank you again for another bright and glorious day. Um, Lord, this, your, just your goodness to us is amazing and astounding. Lord, your forgiveness to, to us is incredible. Uh, and we know that we will get things wrong this day. We know that we will stumble and fall. And yet we know that you will pick us up, that you will dust us down, that you will set, tell us that you forgive us and hold us close and encourage us to keep going. So Lord, may that spur us on today. Help us, Father, in all that we are doing, no matter where we are, what age that we are, um, that we can live this day for you, that we can set that example and lead by example in whatever setting we are in, knowing that we do it for your glory and honour. So Lord, thank you, now and always, in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks, for watching. Thanks for the hellos to come up on screen. Great to see the names popping up. Um, trust that you um, feel blessed today in whatever is going on and just that you would know that God is close to you in your personal cir circumstance and through the difficulties that you may face today that God is there with you. So take care and God bless. See you again tomorrow. Bye for now.